Welcome back to Farm and Culture. So one of the first questions that I get from people when they want to start brewing kombucha is what is a SCOBY, what is the starter culture, what is all that stuff. So this video is um, going to basically explain kind of what a SCOBY is and why you need it, what it does, where do you get one. Okay, so first of all, SCOBY is an acronym and it stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. And that is part of the culture that grows on top of your kombucha batch every single time you brew. So let me show you kind of what I'm talking about and let's get into it. So the SCOBY grows across the top of the vessel and it creates like an airtight seal along the top, which is why you want to make sure you're seeing your SCOBY go from one end of your vessel to the next. So it creates this seal and it makes an anaerobic environment for the kombucha to brew. So anaerobic meaning no air. So it's basically locking out the air and it's creating its own little place where it can brew kombucha. So this is very important when you want to make sure that your kombucha is successful and that it is kombucha. So let's take a look at this SCOBY up close and personal. I'm just going to pull this out as you would when you're done brewing. And it's a big, heavy, gelatinous piece of SCOBY. It's a culture. And what you want to look for when you're brewing is a new SCOBY that's formed with every brew and you can tell what it looks like. You can see the old one on the back is kind of brown and the new one on the top is clear. It's very gelatinous looking. Um, this is the part where you want to check and see, ooh, is there any mold on here? Because I get a lot of people that are really afraid to brew kombucha because they're worried about having some sort of, you know, mold there that's not supposed to be there. So this is where you check. You check your SCOBY and it looks good. There's a lot of SCOBY in here, probably too much. But it's always better to have a little bit too much than too little. And there she is. So um, I want you guys to kind of see what this looks like. There's a lot of different uses for the SCOBY. You definitely need it to brew your next batch. Um, you need it to also act as a barometer so you know if your brew is successful. Um, but at some point you're going to have too many of these scobies, so you're going to be giving them to friends or putting them in your garden and composting them. People use these um, and they make scoby candy. Uh, you can have scoby sashimi, I've seen that in um, books and I've tried that myself too, it's interesting, it's like a vegan sashimi. Um, I've also seen people make clothing out of uh, scobies, it's like a vegan leather type thing. So uh, there are a lot of different applications. Uh, Band-aids, I've seen people make band-aids with scobies too. So it's kind of amazing what you can do with this thing. So you're ready to start brewing kombucha, where do you get a scoby? If you check out my uh, suggested products list on uh, farmingculture.com, you'll see everything you need there to get started and get brewing today. Um, SCOBY is on there and it comes in a package with starter culture and that's the other thing that you will need to start brewing as well. So I've made it super easy. Just go on there, order your SCOBY. It'll come in a couple days along with the starter culture and you'll be ready to start brewing. Thanks for checking out my videos. If you haven't signed up for the newsletter, please do so and you'll find the uh, recommended product list. And uh, follow me on social media. I'd love to hear from you. and. Find out how your kombucha brewing is going and any questions or comments that you may have. Thanks again.